<laughs> That's right, you can watch your own procedure. <laughs> They're gonna love it. They're like, we, we, wanna, we don't wanna see that. I told you, like, I want you to watch it. Yeah, watch the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe down the toe. Okay. So this is the big thing. All right. uh, camera's on. Okay. I wanna explain. You have, you've had this pincer nail for a long time. Right. Um, and we've been maintaining it conservatively buffing it down, right. we've been trimming down the sides, just maintaining it. Yeah. But last time, you know, there's a little bit of a, we pulled some of the skin, the nail, now got stuck in the skin, we have this little growth. Right. This has yeah. been very difficult for us to cut and trim. Right. And you've had to come regularly, literally just for this toe, yes. right? Yes, right. And so we're at the stage now, normal conservative care is getting too hard so we're on to the next step and I'm, I'm very proud of you that we're deciding to do the permanent removal of the nail because you were so terrified of the needle yeah <laughs> but how bad was it it wasn't bad <laughs> no, it wasn't bad <laughs> no not at all what's up my toes it's Jonathan, aka The Toe Bro, and would you want a virtual consultation with me? Well, for the month of April, I'm giving five lucky winners the chance to show me their feet and ask their toughest foot question. How do you get this? All you gotta do is join Team Toe Bro, so check out the link in the description, uh, send me your details, and I'll be announcing the winners May 1st. And so, instead of us doing the corners and leaving this little sliver, I really appreciate you, you know, asking what's the best, and yeah, the best is removing it completely because now we never have to worry about a toenail I'm gonna clean up the area really well and everything's gonna heal smooth and flat your nails actually go quite slow and this is the only real main reason you've always had to come sooner so now not only do we not have this painful toenail now we can spread out our appointments which means less money for you to come in and no discomfort or pain that's good it's really good it's really good but now now, now you're gonna be the line dancing champ because oh, now there's yes. gonna be no excuses with this toe now. Oh, that, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tourniquet. It's a little rubber band. Okay. And this is so there's no bleeding. Okay. So we can see everything really clearly. Okay. But the more important reason is the acid that we're using cannot be diluted. It has to be bloodless. Okay. If there's too much blood, then it will wash out the acid and the nail grows back. Oh, yes. We don't want that. No. And so that's why this rubber band is actually very important. Okay. See, today you're going to learn how to remove toenails professionally. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this one there. Unwrap it like a present. You okay there? Yes. So we're gonna do our second check. So I'm gonna cover the toe, you don't have to look. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Anything sharp down here? No. no. Anything down here? No. Over here? No. Awesome. So just loosening up the nail. I think I'm on the left hand, right? Okay, we both won't look, that's smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll look for you, I'll look for you, I'll make sure. <laughs> So, what's amazing about these pincer nails is how wide the actual nail is. Oh, really, eh? Mm hmm So much of it is buried that in the skin, I guess, right? And really, that's why I really wanted to film because it is unbelievable. You can save this for your movie day. Okay, yeah, I'll get to see it. Yeah, you'll get to see it. Oh, <laughs> it is okay. unbelievable how wide this oh. nail is. Oh, my gosh. And just like that, your movie's finished. The nail's gone. You gotta be kidding me. It's over? Yeah, this is the nail. Oh, look at it. Look oh, how wide. It's absolutely gross, eh? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's unreal, eh? Look how wide. Oh, that's unreal. And, but for us, it only looks like this. Oh, my god. But gosh. really. Oh, yes, look at that. It, it is unbelievable. And so it's amazing. The brown liquid I put up uh -huh. on the nail, yeah. you can see the brown stain, and then you can see the white. Yes. The white, what was all underneath. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, sorry. That's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So we've been trying to cut down the side, but look how hard it is to get in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad to be rid of it. Thank God. Look how wide that is. Yeah. Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but that's gonna make a really nice necklace. <laughs> okay, you sit back. You're gonna, we're gonna finish up. You relax. You made it through the hard part. We're gonna get all this dead, abnormal skin out. You did amazing. Well, you were terrific. So I mean, when you're frozen up and everything else, you don't feel it. Okay. It is, right? Yeah. And you don't feel a thing? No, no. But I, I've been dreading this because I knew it was likely just a matter of time and I would be getting this done, you know. And, and then I thought, I, my next appointment took two weeks and I thought, you know, this might be a, even a lot worse in two weeks' time. But I figured that stab or whatever would have gone away, which I just, it didn't. It's actually and then again what's unbelievable yeah. this is what we could see from the top yeah yeah but this is actually how wide the nail was oh oh yikes oh it, 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 it is just it's kind of kind of gross <laughs> it's actually a great press on i yeah, like it no, like, this yeah. is my new nail oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep and again, your nails really do grow slow. Yeah, um, it, yes. and, but it was always because of the pincer nail that you had to come in sooner. Oh, oh right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, good. You got rid of that thing. We're getting rid of all that bad stuff. Oh, good. Uh, and so, actually, when this heals up, it's going to be completely flat and smooth. Oh, okay, like you said. Yeah, yeah and it's going to almost look like you have oh, a toenail. Oh, oh, perfect. Well, you know what, then? Once in a while, if I want my nails all to look nice, I would put the nail clothes. You on you it. definitely can. Now it won't stay very long. Yeah. But at least you know you can paint it. You can enjoy it for the moment. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just glad I did it. I, so, I, I actually don't care if, if it looks funny or whatever. And, and it, yeah. honestly, it won't. Yeah. So this is that rubbing uh sorry the acid oh. and this is what's stopping oh, right. the nail from ever growing back oh perfect and like i can see how that tourniquet really prevented the blood okay it's hard to believe that it wouldn't be bleeding like crazy right it, you are right but it's that tourniquet that's doing it it is it's the magic yeah wow well, you know when you see in movies that somebody has an injury or whatever, how they tap, make some kind of a tourniquet? Yep. Now I see how effective they are. Okay. They are very effective. Amazing. So we're applying the acid underneath the cuticle where the nail grows from. Okay. And this is killing those nail cells, stopping them from ever growing back. Yippee. Now the body does amazing things. It's going to fill this area up with new healthy tissue and it's going to level itself out and be completely flat. In one week, this will be pink, flat and smooth. No kidding. Yep. In one week. In one week. Wow. Then we start using the brown liquid in week number two to create a nice scab. A scab will form. And then when the scab falls off, it's just smooth skin. So, so the brown liquid, that's something I'm going to be used to... That's what I gave you, that bottle over there. Oh, is that... And that is that betadine? Right? It, it is, and that's what I applied on your toe when, when oh, we started. Guess what? I even have some at home. Oh, my God. But I, I'll give you a bottle. I'll okay. give you a bottle. You can have it. Because I that's what my family doctor suggested, because I was in there anyways for something else, and she looked at my toe, and she said, well, it's not infected, she said. And she said, use betadine. So that's, I never had heard of it, so that's what I was using a bit too. So I'm getting to be a pro on all these <laughs> medical measures. That's right. You're going to have a whole, you know, whole yeah. workshop of yeah. tools yeah. and supplies. Yeah, right. So this is all we, that's it. This is the whole procedure. Oh, it's kind of interesting now. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Like, and you, you, there was no way I thought you were going to be watching, but look at you, you're watching. Yeah, 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 this is part, this, this, this part's okay, you know, and, and then when I saw that nail, it's like, oh, that's just amazing. Yeah, that's just amazing. Look how big that thing is, I'm just yeah. looking at it over there, it's yeah. so wide. Yeah, yes. And are all the nails that wide? I no. Oh. No, but what happened for some reason, it was wide to begin, but it's, with pressure, it just started to fold in. I see. Okay. 
So that's kind of what can happen with the pincer now. Mm -hmm. so it used to be flat, and then with time it just got squished. Uh, and, you know, it got pinched. And you know, it was just like when you looked at the top of my toe, like it was like a coil actually. It was. Right around. And that's why I was having a tough time oh. cutting it. But again, we've been doing this for years, wow. maintaining it. Wow. Yeah. And we've talked about it in the beginning and you said yeah. no way yeah. and which yeah. is understandable because right. it was scary yeah. but we did that yeah. until it wasn't working anymore and it's get, it was right. been getting too hard for me to cut oh great right. yeah and it would only get worse and worse and let's say if i lived to be who knows 90 what would it be like by then if i did no one would be able to help me with my feet that, and that's a big problem i agree as yeah. we get older who's yeah. going to care for it yeah so this is a little bit of rubbing alcohol to okay. neutralize that acid. The reaction okay. is done. Okay. We are finished. So okay. this is the important part. This is how you're okay. going to take care of it. Okay. At home, you're going to put that antibiotic cream uh -huh. on top. Right. Just like that. Okay. Now the first one to two days, it's normal for it to bleed. So that's right. why you can use a little bit of the gauze yeah. and wrap that I gave you. Okay. Okay. After one to two days, if it's not bleeding, I would suggest you use the cream and a band-aid. Okay, like that. Oh, the the, the band-aid I gave you oh, okay. and a band-aid. Okay. The reason we don't have a nail and I don't want the gauze to get stuck oh, right. to the skin. Right. So that's why the band-aids have an anti... Um, thing, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That was it. Oh, great. So basically, as long as it's still bleeding, use the, the gauze. gauze. And then once the bleeding stops, the cream with the band-aid. Yes. And then... You're going to be changing this morning this, and night. Okay, morning and night. Okay. It's so hard for me to do, too, as you can imagine. I lay down there. It's really it awkward. is. It is. So <laughs> we're putting on this self-adhesive wrap. Uh -huh. I'm giving you this as well. Oh, great. Perfect. If this bleeds through today... Uh-huh. You can change it. Okay. But normally, since this is roughly still the morning, I would say you do your first dressing change tonight. Okay. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Wow, ever good. 